What brought us to Italy was that we knew we wanted to do destination, we knew we loved Italy, and then my dad actually was the one that found this venue because we were trying to get as many people as possible into one space so that we could have as many people that we love with us. And that's how we kind of ended up at this exact location. Sam plans everything and, you know, gets everybody in order and just, I mean, that's why we're here. E già da un po' sono in strada con il capo all'insù. I think the moment that I was, like, most excited about going into Italy, which already happened, but was, like, when we first saw everybody and, like, hugging everybody for the first time and all being together for the first time, that was probably, like, one of, like, the top three things that I was most excited about. Mi viene una gran voglia di chiamarla. Luna! Ad un tratto, come lampare. I've had a few conversations with people here over the past week about, you know, the trip so far, and gratitude has come up quite a bit for obvious reasons, of course. But I guess something that's become a bit more clear to me and also to the people I've chatted with is how grateful we are for what you two specifically offer to our lives. Um, you guys have this kind of insatiable and unparalleled ability to bring really exceptional people together, it seems. Fino a quando sua madre lo richiama in casa. E così le finestre tornano ad una ad una a dormire. Lasciando la strada nuovamente al buio. I felt like I'd known Sam forever. I remember when we were really young, we'd be like, I feel like we must have met before this. Like, we must have gone soccer or something when we were little. And we never found any reason, and I think it was just because, like, we were meant to be friends. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> la Luna. He was going to ask how Sam Kobe. When he told us that, we were like, oh, like, sure, like, just kind of out of your league, but... <laughs> So who are you most excited to see in a bikini tomorrow at the pool? <laughs> and he looked at me, he's like, my wife, of course. And I'm like, that's it, buddy. <laughs> Same values, same interests, just like a total power couple, always working out together, helping each other be the best, fittest person. <laughs> She's been uh, quite an amazing organizer. She's brought together, you know, 60 odd people, had amazing food, you know, everything set up. So I really want to say a special thank you to Sam for setting everything up. <laughs> Here's to a great night and an even better night tomorrow. When thinking about what to write today, I couldn't help but look back at the last 10 years and feel, well, initially I thought the word I was looking for was lucky, but in fact, the word I really was searching for was proud. I'm so incredibly proud of the life that we've built together over the past 10 years. Oh no, we've worked hard not only to become the individuals that we are, but also to grow as individuals together and to create a life that even in the most mundane moments feels so beautiful and full of joy. All right, today we have come together to witness and celebrate the marriage of Matt and Sam. For them, the extraordinary has happened. They met, fell in love, and today are committing their lives to one another.
Oh my God. She is your LeBron to your AD. She is your Michael to your Scotty. It's really awesome to be here. Just to state the obvious, this is a beautiful place. And whether it's raining or sunny out, it doesn't matter. It's just a beautiful place. With a lot of beautiful people here, we're just so lucky to be here and so grateful. Of course, while I haven't seen it at the bar tonight or around in, in Italy, I love Jameson. Cheers, everyone. Let's just let our bodies move. Keep doing that thing you do. I said one more time and from the top. Let's just let our bodies rock. Let's just let our bodies move. Just seeing the two of you, I have so much respect and admiration for the depth of your love. And the last several years, seeing the two of you has, has taught me how to love more and has just taught me how to embrace life to the fullest every day. So cheers to love and family. Let's do it again. I saw you post rain like a bunch of ants <laughs> ripping this place apart and, and redressing the tables and doing everything like what a and dancing in there to make it as good as it could be like just the biggest thank you and cheers to all of you for being this incredible this is um, just the most remarkable experience for us and I hope you know that that is truly from the bottom of our heart. We want to thank everyone for traveling not only to the other side of the world, but to a small town a few hours from a major airport and then choosing to spend a whole week with us celebrating. It is not lost on us the effort and time you all took to be here. As you get older and life gets busy, I think you start to understand the value of time more and more. Growing up together has been the privilege of my lifetime. And I promise to make our years growing old just as beautiful and full of love. Oh no. Finally, I promise always to be there for you. 
to be your best friend, to always listen to you and help you at any time, to laugh and to celebrate with you during the good times, and to be your loving husband forever and always. I swear, <laughs> Sam, thank you for putting up with the mullet. <laughs> <laughs> I know that that was, uh, it was a lot, because he didn't have like one of those trendy mullets now. I'm a hairdresser, I'm cutting all these time. trendy mullets. Oh, yeah. But his mullet was like, if you took his haircut now, you combed the bangs forward, and you added just this bush on the back, <laughs> completely disconnected. And Sam, that's how they started. He had that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. honestly, like, I think if you guys can get through the mullet, you can get through anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.